Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. Um, <clears throat> I want to address the atheist community uh, very briefly <clears throat> for a moment. Um, when I did my little stunt uh, with the whole chocolate atheist thingy, um, you know, I thought that I um, spent enough time thinking about this in which I could, um, you know, anticipate how you guys would react to it. And then, you know, my ultimate goal uh, was to try to was to try to destroy the No Truth Gospel fallacy. Uh, but little did I know is uh, I really didn't I really don't understand that well what the No Truth Gospel fallacy is. Um, uh, because of that, uh, <clears throat> because of the stunt that I've done, I've had a lot of people actually dig into me about what this about what the no true Scotsman fallacy really is okay um i watched atheist chef make a video i complimented him about his non-biased opinion and his explanation uh on what the um on what the no true Scotsman fallacy really is uh and i had um fsx 23 and a couple of other atheists uh correct me on this particular matter as well um there have been Christians that have gotten on my case about what I did, and I and I apologize to them. But I just want to take this time out um, to just talk to the atheist community, um, you know, about what I did. Um, I think you guys are right, and I think I'm wrong on this matter. And this this is rare because normally, you know, I would get on YouTube and just be like, you know, I, I'm not wrong. I'm right. I'm going to defend my position and, and what I did. But there's just too much evidence that would suggest um, otherwise. Um, uh, and it's not because Brett Keen and Richard Raspberry disagrees with me. You know, there's a lot of things. Because <laughs> I know in Chef's uh, video he talks about that. But um, no, it, it has more, more or less to do with only, well, and, 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 and actually, no, I can't really say that, that, that just because there's some people that support me that that makes me right or whatever i'm gonna say this what i did was stupid <laughs> it was really stupid and i shouldn't have did it um but again i think next time uh i try to do something creative and i and i'm not talking about um fooling people into thinking that i'm an atheist i'm talking about if i want to do anything creative in the future i need to make sure i know what i'm talking about before i do it I mean, after all, that's what I say to you guys all the time. I don't think you guys should be talking about the Bible if you've never read it. So, and in my case, um, I just didn't understand the no truth God's my fallacy. I heard a lot of atheists. A lot of atheists did pour their hearts out to me. And, and, and because they thought that I was hurting and they thought that I was going through certain things, that they were prepared to be my friend and be able to offer me some words of some words of encouragement that helped me through the whole deconversion process. Um and in the process because it was all acting um you know i ended up hurting some people and um that 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 was never my um my goal now i do have a gripe against atheism in general but there are ways of going about um dealing with that particular thing so um you know gman zero the atheist community one uh the atheist community is correct in this matter uh when they say that um that i should have never done what i did and again um just putting this out there to apologize to the atheist community. Um, yeah, it was never my intention to hurt nobody. Um, I know Boone's upset by what I did. Um, there's a few atheists out there that's upset. Some atheists just didn't believe me right from the get-go. So um, I just wanted to make this video because, um, you know, I was in a hangout and some people were saying some stuff to me. You know, I kind of agree. And then I'm looking at some of these other videos on YouTube. I don't agree with all the criticism that's coming at me because of my decision to pretend like I was an atheist. But I do agree with what Atheist Chef. You know, Atheist Chef, you know, me, me and this guy don't agree on a lot of things on YouTube. But the one thing I do notice about him is that he is capable of being non, being good at being um, non-biased when, when it comes to me. So, Atheist Chef, kudos to you. Um, you. Did a good job with your correction video with me. Um, I would even say 
that J.D. Kane, somebody who I don't even like on YouTube that much, was okay with correcting me uh, on, on a couple of things. And, um, you know, and some, and some of the other atheists, I mean, you know, I, 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 re, I read some of your stuff in the chat. Um, so, just wanted to put that out there. I was wrong, guys. I shouldn't have did what I did. Um, I won't be pretending to be an atheist again. I won't even do it in fun. Uh, I don't believe that it's fruitful. I don't think it's profitable. I don't think there's anything good about it at all. Um, I, I, I made a terrible mistake um, not understanding how a lot of atheists on YouTube um, um, is affected through, through the deconversion process. And, and, and even some of my videos where I'm not even talking about myself being deconverted um, or playing around with the idea. Um, I've listened to some people on YouTube and some of their stories, you know, and um, it's a serious, you know, it's nothing to play around with. And I made a mistake and I, um, you know, and I shouldn't have did, I shouldn't have did what I did. So this is me without the hat. This is Gary talking, not G-Man. Um, just saying that I'm sorry I shouldn't have did what I did with the atheist community. Um, I know some of you are not going to accept my apology and that's fine. And some of you are, and that's fine as well. If you don't want to watch my channel no more, don't watch it. If you do, continue to watch it. It's whatever you want. So um, I hope you accept my apology. I'm going to continue business as usual on my channel. Just want to make sure that this video is seen first. I'm going to pass on talking about the comment section for a little while and just do my thing on my channel. Uh, don't forget that May 1st is the big... Um, you know, rap video. I want to keep reminding you guys about that because it's probably the only redeeming thing I got left to talk about. Until next time, guys. This has been another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries here in the basement of the home of Gary. Not G-Man today. Telling you guys to read your Bible and do what it says.